This is Deshaun Kaiser. Deshaun Kaiser going into the 2017 NFL Draft was seen as one of the top quarterbacks in that draft. But now he is out of the NFL and hasn't played an NFL down since the 2018 NFL season. What happened to Deshaun Kaiser? Now I'm going to kick it back all the way to Central Catholic High School in Toledo, Ohio where Deshaun Kaiser made his name for himself originally. At Central Catholic High School, this guy was a complete beast. He had a 34 and 6 overall record and went 8 and 2 in the playoffs. And not to mention that his stats were pretty dang good. 5684 passing yards, 56 touchdowns in his career. And now let's talk about the game on the ground. He had 1211 rushing yards and 17 touchdowns for rushing. In the class of 2014, Deshaun Kaiser ranked as the 242nd best player, the 14th best pro style quarterback, and the 10th best player in Ohio, according to 247 Sports, and he was a four star. He committed to Notre Dame to join the Fighting Irish over schools like Alabama, LSU, Arkansas, Cincinnati, Louisville, Michigan State, Penn State, and the list goes on. In Deshaun Kaiser's first year with Notre Dame, in the 2014 college football season, he would actually redshirt because he was behind quarterbacks like Everett Golson and Malik Zaire. In the 2015 college football season for Notre Dame, as a redshirt freshman, Deshaun Kaiser played in all 13 games, but he originally started off as a backup quarterback for them. As going into the season, he was a backup to Malik Zaire, but Malik would actually end up getting hurt, and Deshaun would take that starting spot pretty much with ease. Well, for this season, he completed 63% of his passes through for 2,880 yards, with 21 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, posing a 10-3 record with the Irish. And not to mention, he was pretty good on the ground as well. He had 525 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. Now in the 2016 college football season for Notre Dame, Deshaun Kaiser pretty much stayed on the same pace as he did the last season. He did put up some better numbers, but the team went 4-8 and they did way worse than the season prior. And Deshaun Kaiser did do a little bit better, didn't complete as many passes. This season he only completed 58% of his passes. And he did throw for more yards, throwing for 2,925 yards, threw for more touchdowns, 26, threw less interceptions with 9. His rushing stats weren't as good as the season prior, but he also rushed fewer times. He had 472 rushing yards and 8 touchdowns for that season. Deshaun Kaiser would actually declare for the draft after this season, and he would declare for the 2017 NFL Draft. He thought he could be a first round pick and a lot of people said he could be a first round pick or a second round pick. Notable quarterbacks from that draft include Mitchell Trubisky, Deshaun Watson, and Mr. MVP and Super Bowl winner himself, Patrick Mahomes. Deshaun Kaiser was invited to the NFL Combine in 2017, but he struggled severely in the Combine, but he did make it up all in his Pro Day where he actually played pretty dang well. Going into the 2017 NFL Draft, Deshaun Kaiser was saying some pretty outlandish and cocky statements. I will be showing y'all two of the statements he said prior to the NFL Draft in 2017, but here's the first one. Deshaun Kaiser said, name a college quarterback who goes into the game plan meetings on Monday and throws his notes at the coaches. No one else game plans the way I do. No one else prepares the way I do. No one else knows football the way I do. No one else is as big as I am. No one else is as powerful a runner as I am. Pat Mahomes might throw the ball 80 yards, and I can only throw the ball 72, but I guarantee he can't throw an out route the way I can. Deshaun Kaiser also said, no one else can do what I can do. And I've truly figured out in this process, if I can maximize all my potential in every aspect of the game, I do have the ability to be the greatest quarterback to ever play. Imagine taking Brady's intellect and Brady's preparation and putting it on a guy with Cam Newton's body. Now, if you were some guy that didn't know football that much, you might be hearing those statements and be like, dang, Deshaun Kaiser sounds really good. But to be nice, I'll basically say this. Deshaun Kaiser was nowhere near the player he was making it seem like he was in the NFL, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Going into the 2017 NFL Draft, Deshaun Kaiser was seen as one of the top quarterbacks in his class, 
and was even seen as someone that could possibly be taken in the first round. He was not taken in the first round, he was actually selected with the 52nd overall pick in the second round by the Cleveland Browns. And some people saw him as someone that could be the future of the Cleveland Browns, and this, this was not the case at all. Deshaun Kaiser would be named the week one starter for the Cleveland Browns in the regular season after beating quarterbacks out like Brock Osweiler, Cody Kessler, and Kevin Hogan. And honestly, he had a pretty decent first game versus the Steelers, despite them losing 21-18. to Despite losing week one to the Steelers, Cleveland Brown fans had some hope in Deshaun Kaiser and his future with the Browns. I mean, he played pretty well, but all this hope went away very quickly. Let's talk about the Brown season in the 2017 NFL season. Now, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, the Browns went 0-16, and they're the second 0-16 team in NFL history. The first one was the 8 Detroit Lions. Now, let's take a deep dive into Deshaun Kaiser's stats for that season with the Browns. Now, I know rookie quarterbacks can struggle, but Deshaun Kaiser struggled beyond belief, and he was just awful. He was horrible this time as a Browns quarterback. He was 0-15 as a starting quarterback, and he only appeared in 15 games. He only completed a whopping 53.6% of his passes, only threw for 2,894 yards, had 11 touchdowns, and 22 interceptions. Now, on the ground, he wasn't horrible. He actually had a decent run game. He had 419 yards and 5 touchdowns, but for the season, Deshaun Kaiser was awful and Browns fans wanted him out. Like the many quarterbacks that played for the Cleveland Browns before him, he would face a similar fate to most of those guys where he would eventually just get kicked out of Cleveland. On March 14th, 2018, Deshaun Kaiser's days as a Brown was over. He was traded to the Green Bay Packers in exchange for Demarius Randall and a swap of both fourth and fifth round draft picks. Deshaun Kaiser for the Packers would actually start in their season opener for the 2018 NFL season, and that's because Aaron Rodgers was injured and a little banged up. But they were playing the Bears, and he played completely awful. He played the first half against them, and he only threw for 55 yards, and he even had an interception that ended up to be a touchdown. So Aaron Rodgers, who was still injured, mind that, came back in the game and led the Packers to a 24-23 victory. Deshaun Kaiser would only play three games that season for the Packers, and he played awful. He only completed 47.6% of his passes, only threw for 187 yards, and threw two interceptions and zero touchdowns. Going into the 2019 NFL season, Deshaun Kaiser would be released by the Green Bay Packers on August 31st, 2019 as a part of the final roster cuts. Deshaun Kaiser would be claimed off waivers the next day by the Oakland Raiders, but he would never appear in a game for the Raiders and he was cut by them on May 5th, 2020. But now Deshaun Kaiser recently had a tryout with the Tennessee Titans, but nothing has come of it yet. And this is pretty much what happened to Deshaun Kaiser. Will we ever see him in an NFL uniform again? I don't know. Will we ever see him start again? I really highly doubt it. This guy was completely awful with the Browns. And the guy's just struggling a lot right now in the NFL. I don't know when I'll, when we'll see him on a team again. It's going to be a toss-up, especially with no preseason this year. It's a lot harder to get guys on the team, get a better evaluation of the players. And he's a guy who really needs to have a really good preseason to get on an NFL roster. Well, guys, if you guys liked the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out!